the place I'm staying at. So there's a direct trail from here to the main trail. I don't have to go to all the way to Katagla or Kasol. Because the trail is right behind my uh, place. So for Rasol trek, you have to go to Chalal. And Chalal is only uh, two, three kilometers from here. Where is the trail? So wherever you're coming from, Katagla or Kasol, you have to go to Chalal. Chalal is a, a very famous village uh, nowadays in Parvati Valley. So you can just, I can see my place from here. This is always fun actually. <laughs> this is something I practically do every morning. I just have to go somewhere around there <laughs> and it's a fun trail. So I've come to the main trail. This way is going to Chalal and this is the way to Estona, a village I would go tomorrow. So for now let's go to Chalal and have breakfast before I leave for Rasul. In Chalal you will see an array of homestays and cafes. So in Chalal you don't really feel like you are in a village. Except for in a few corners you will find some villagers living in a traditional way. So the first stretch of the trail, the first three kilometers are different. You won't find any shop or any stall or anything. It's more uh, forest friendly. We will see this in 10 minutes. Till you reach the midpoint. Then the next stretch is more open I would say because there are villagers, there are people. Okay, so I'm almost there. See? I can already see the houses. You can see the village from the midpoint, but it's just there. I'm almost there. This hall is so beautiful. I mean, they have built three, four tiered houses, uh, wooden houses, and people are so hardworking. I mean, throughout the trail, I could see local people carrying Almira. Uh, the Nepalese, particularly, carrying. Almira, really heavy things on that trail. By the way, the trail is very steep. Uh, it's an easy trail, but it is steep. So uh, walking on it is easy, but walking with an Almira on your back, uh, supported by your head, is crazy. Why don't you touch it? Yes, touch me. Okay, just you can do it. You can go to guest house. You can go to your house. So you are not allowed to touch anything local by outside or they meant somebody who is not from Rasol and Malana. So even if you are from a different part of Himachal, you are still considered as an outsider. So as an outsider, you cannot touch anything. They have a temple and you cannot touch that temple. You will have to give a fine of 5,000 rupees if you touch anything in the temple. And there is also a boundary. You cannot cross that boundary. <laughs> so that is their local custom. And as an outsider, it's our duty to respect that. There are local men playing cards and gambling. And I asked them a little bit about the temple and they couldn't say anything. They said, we don't know much. The elderly members of the community 
may know something. This is one of the most soothing experiences I have had in Parvati Valley. This is my second time in Parvati Valley actually. The first time I came here in 2021, I only went to Kasol and I just pitched my tent by the river uh, at a campsite. Then the next morning I just woke up and left for Manali. I just did not like Kasol at all. I didn't even go to Manikaran at that time. I just left straight away. Personally would highly recommend whoever uh, is coming to Parvati Valley, whoever is enthusiastic about hiking and it only takes one day so it can be a weekend hike for you because Kasol just it doesn't do anything for me. It's so so boring <laughs> Kasol and Manikaran but the Gurudwara is nice of course. And by the way, before there used to be no internet here. Actually, there still is no internet, but the cafes and the homestays have Wi Fi, which is great. I mean, I was not expecting that because it's at 3400 sorry 3048 meters so and everybody told me and all the blocks also told me that there is no internet connectivity which is true your internet is not going to work but the cafes and the homestays have really good wi-fi so yeah that's good and even though i'm going back i'm not going to stay here i'm going back to katagla i asked the owner he said it's 800 or 900 rupees per night including wi-fi and everything and if anyone wants to stay here for a month, they can pay only 15,000 for a month and stay here. It's very peaceful, very, very peaceful, very secluded up in the mountains. And from there also, you can do a lot of hikes, which I got to know once I got there. You can go to another top and he said, you can also go to Malana from here. There is a trail, but you have to take a local guide because it's not very well marked like this trail. Rasul is how much? This one? Yeah. Uh, two and a half hours. From it this point? Yeah. And the first cafe nearby? Uh, there is a midpoint. Okay. Yeah, it's around it's like one hour from here. Uh, one hour from here? Okay. It depends, it could be more. The first yes. cafe means any Maggie point or something? Yeah, like yeah. That. That's the half point. Okay. One hour. Chalos.